Hey guys, this is Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a digital piece, though it isn't my typical usual digital piece. We are actually using vectors and line art and Adobe Illustrator today. <coughs> Him. So as you may know if you've been watching my channel for a little bit now, I like doing character designs, I like creating new outfits and just drawing clothes for my characters and naturally of course i'd like to do that for other characters in the future as well but right now i'm focused on building up my portfolio for my own characters and with that with their outfits i mean i would usually pair it up with some of the gear that they use so a lot of my characters are very fantasy based so with a lot of swords bows arrows magic what have you so I would even do like um, weapon design though I'm not super good at it yet but I just like doing it and I think I'll be able to improve in the future and yeah. So that's what we'll be doing today. We are doing a weapon design of sorts. It's more or less a revamp of one of my old designs for a very old character and he's not old per se but like I've had him for a while. and. One of the things I wanted to do with my skills, or my newfound skills, they're not really new. When I started being a graphic designer, I decided I wanted um, a version of your weapons that doesn't pixelate when I use them in certain like situations. So for example, having this vector basic look of it makes it easier for me to say like copy and paste it into a piece and then like edit it to add lighting and shadows and all that but it doesn't it makes the piece or rather it makes the weapon look consistent and it would have a consistent look and portion and color and all that so actually I just wanted to vector the, wep the weapons uh, it's one of the things that I enjoyed the most when I was still in college I really liked uh, making vectors of like weapons and shiny armor and swords so I'm just carrying that over to my personal work so as you can see here I at first tried doing the design from scratch mm -hmm. using only vectors and um, it wasn't turning out how I envisioned it so there were a lot of smooth curves and and twists that I wanted to achieve, but it was hard to imagine it like straight out, out of my mind into the vector into Illustrator. So I sketched it out first in Clip Studio Paint, and I'm just gonna trace over it, and that's easier actually. So if you're not familiar with vector. Vector work is basically um, shapes that you pile on top of each other in layers to form an image. And I am using the program Adobe Illustrator CS6. And the advantage of Vector is if you keep it in the Vector software, no matter how much you resize it, it will not pixelate. Unlike in Photoshop, sure you have like the smart objects, but at a certain point of zooming in or zooming out, that thing will blur and just turn into a bunch of very blurry pictures and pixels. With Vector, it retains the crispness of the of the edges, of the lines, it will remain as clear as ever. And yeah, it's really helpful. And it's what you use when you like make icons and you can apply it for a lot of stuff actually, but I tend to use them for graphic design work and stuff like this, making weapons, I guess. So the thing with Vector though is that it uses math of sorts to calculate like the curves and the shape of the thing, that's why it's able to retain its sharpness, but also it's a bit more tedious to work with. So right now, usually if I was just drawing this on Clip Studio Paint or in Adobe, Pho uh, Adobe Photoshop, I just like clipping mask and then brush it out and then like make it blend with the piece. But that's not how vector works. You can make it 
somewhat do that in a vector, but not with my current level of skill at least. So it's a bit more tedious, and perhaps it's a bit more boring to watch. But I really like how it turns out, usually. It's very... Like, you really feel your accomplishment when you finish something with Vector. And it's not really something that someone lazy can play with, since it really uses a lot of time to finish. If I check the footage right now, um, I have... That's 3, 5... This has 13. Yeah, I've... What? I have five hours and I have five hours and thirty minutes worth of footage almost. So yeah. Right, so that's the lower part done. I've added the shadows and the design is really it's like it's not really stuck to the body of the spear itself. It's like slightly elevated casting these these shadows. And I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside right now. As of recording there's um, a storm, a tropical depression in my country right now. So it's been raining pretty hard. Okay, now for the tip of the spear. So, I actually did this, the tip already uh, earlier in the video, I cut that out for now, but I really wasn't contented with how it looked like. It was very, I don't know, it was like really wide and it wasn't what I really had in mind. So I jumped back into Tip Studio Paint, like this was probably a day after since I did really finish it in one sitting. So I jumped back to the Clip Studio Paint and then tried to remake it. So I have a basic idea, and yeah, I put that on top of my vector work, and I kind of just chased it. Um, yeah. So yeah, let's talk about what this lance or spear is for. So you might recall a couple of videos back, I did a character design for a lancer named Celia. Bleh. I screwed up. Right. Uh, his name is Serial Nere Talis. He's a lancer. Uh, he's the blondie with the purple tips hair. Uh, I gave him like, this really nice white and blue and some gray in his outfit. So this is the lance that accompanies him. So the peg for this design was originally... Like the very original design for this lance was just... A straight steel blue uh, rod with some very high techy looking designs on the body. Uh, I wanted to redesign that and I still wanted to retain to some extent that sort of high techy look. That's why the tip and the top part of the spear's design is like this not very old school fantasy type curly thing. But I also wanted to include a little bit of intricacy, that's why the bottom part has that curly thing. It doesn't really completely match everything in the spear, but 
it kind of does match the character's personality. So, that's what I went with. So, the modern-looking thing on top, and then the slightly delicate thing on the bottom. So, I did add a lot of stuff that wasn't in the original sketch, just because I felt like it needed more detail to the, to the design. So, the thing with the vector is that it's very easy to, to duplicate things and match it and make it look symmetrical. That's why um, you don't really need to draw it out and stuff like that. Though you can do it in Photoshop, but for me, doing it in vector is a lot more natural, I guess. I mean, you do like this top part though, like this modern um, weave woven metal part. <laughs> I don't even know how to, do, how to describe it, but I really like how it turned out. So, in my attempt to type the bottom half and the top half together, I added this like this delicate V-shaped thing in on the like this part here, just to make it look rather cohesive and not like two different lances stuck together. And uh, yeah, <laughs> that was the reason for that. So we're nearing the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please follow me on Tumblr and Scammer Deventart. And well, I usually do like actual drawing, so like watercolor, digital art. I usually do sprinkle in some character designing and vector work since those are part of my hobbies. Um, yeah. So if you like this stuff, please do subscribe. Um, and yeah, see you around. Thank you.